Good morning, good morning, good morning. Get some general energies for the day. Let's see what's going on. Got three, we got coming together to teams or conflicts here. We got a new beginning, definitely. There's some sort of plans going on here with this Virgo energy. Someone is planning, someone is being meticulous. Someone might even be a little OCD about it, whatever they're trying to do. Something going on with the feminine here. You know, the rings of communication. People are whispering in secret. Let's see what's going on here. Past life energy on this. Priest, High Priestess. Very powerful energies here. Been powerful energies. Been in places of authority. Been persecuted. Could have a lot of problems with authority here. Someone's been persecuted, right? It's definitely a lot to do with food and hunger. energy of a time where like with the energy that somebody was persecuted famine and hunger or whatever hit the area and somebody <coughs> high up in the belief system blamed say the old gods mm, we got colorless angel and we got atonement here Colorless angel here, someone who's in a lot of deep reflection this winter, and we've got atonement here. Someone is bringing a big wake-up call, right? There's a big wake-up call happening here. Definitely getting these two types of energies right. strong energy someone definitely with this colorless angel they feel like beaten down cut off not being guarded by the universe anymore right not the beloved child of the universe anymore this atonement card is kind of like this person is standing firm in the decisions that they've made even though it might have seemed like it stabbed them in the back a lot right I mean, the kind of story that I'm picking up is kind of like what I'm dealing with um, my ex-husband, right? It's like they tell everybody in the world that the reason the relationship ended was because, oh, I must have cheated. There must have been somebody else. There must have been this, that, and the other thing. And meanwhile, it boils down to the reasons that I said. Right, he went from being 350 pounds to almost 600 pounds, and I wasn't going to be one of those enablers on my 600 pound life. Right, and there's no getting around the fact that I was correct, but the way that they paint the story is they got so bad because of what I did. It's like, no. No, you went from 250 to 350, and then put the foot down on getting your health together, and then you went to 450 and now you're humongous and you're sick and you're dying. And that's exactly what I said was going to happen if you didn't change. 
right? So I get this kind of energy of, like, someone's built with a lot of false accusations, false a accusings, right? Things of that nature, right? Your decisions have been from a heart place, right? Well-intentioned space, and you've gotten stabbed in the back dozens of times over this. Yeah. Got two aces here on the 3D, right? Definitely picking up a fiery feminine energy, right? Could also be water signs with the way this deck is. I get this person feels trapped, right? They definitely feel like they lost something very important, right? I feel like they lost something very important on the 3D to themselves, right? And they're trying to regain their balance from it. Yeah, right. Pretty straightforward there. Because the Ace of Swords is reversed here. So I feel like, you know, definitely with the Ace of Pentacles, this is all on the 3D. Someone is, in a, you know, Eight of Swords, right? They're like self imprisoned by this anxiety of this loss, right? And they're still trying to regain balance. We got Ten of Wands, Oppression, right? But then we've got the Ten of Pentacles, Wealth, right? Yeah, somebody's trying to find the balance between all this, right? The balance between, um, yeah, the weight that they have to carry. I get that they have to carry a lot, but they're working on this Ten of Pentacles. This person is really focused on maintaining, staying in this heart-based center, right? That's where she casts from. That's how she manifests her energy, right? This princess of pentacles, right? I get a lot of energy of using like the law of attraction, right? Operating from a heart-based center of love and abundance to attract love and abundance into your life, right? Still got that 3D, though, a little bit of disimprisonment, right? I pick up that kind of jaded energy there that's going on, right? That's definitely a lot of people are picking up on that lately. But this person is really focused. I get a Divine Feminine who's really, really focused on, I guess we'd say like a glow-up type of energy, right? They're really focused on using that Reiki energy, using that healing energy, using that Divine Feminine intuition and knowledge right to manifest new energies we got this ten of staves ten of cups ten ten look for tens today that's a big number today so we got the ten of cups ten of wands here right i get like i love it in this deck it's like somebody's passion for something is helping them carry the rest of these burdens right there could be some overindulging energy here that could definitely make burdens harder to carry if you're overindulging in something, right? Especially anything that's like a numbing behavior. But we got the Queen of Coins here, right? The Queen of Pentacles, a very nurturing, loving type of energy, right? That's still working on finding balance, right? Trying to find balance without trying to be an illusionist, right? Be like, nobody's perfect. Nobody's trying to come off as too good to be freaking true, right? We got a king of coins going through some death here. Going through some sort of endings in their life. They want to make movement from the, these endings. They've got a lot of anxiety about this situation. They may have put this queen of pentacles on a pedestal that she didn't like. There's a lot of anxiety here. This king of coins could have been pretty immature, 
but they could have been immature with money as well. They definitely get kind of like the watcher vibe. They could have been someone who was like, eh, I get a Captain save a ho type of energy, right? This guy could be notorious for saving people or coming in to save people, right? Very passionate person here. There's an energy of watching a queen of cups, right? There's definitely a feminine energy that's got a lot of eyes on them. <coughs> People are paying attention to what she's working on. She's getting some sort of victory that's got everybody's attention. And someone who's king of cups, someone who's trying to get balance over their heart or knows now where their heart lies. They're trying to move on from the past. They've got a queen of swords that's watching this person as well. So I get the energy that there's two energies definitely watching each other back and forth. Why? Because they can't help it. It's an obsession. Well, you have to watch each other. That's just how it rolls, right? This It's like she's waiting for this energy to do something, right? I got this eight of swords feeling in prison, these secret phases, right? feel like someone might even feel like they're being pushed into leap, taking a major leap here. It's difficult for them to make this decision. It is difficult for them to make this decision. I'm getting a sense of like having to put down something they've been working on for something new. There's a judgment happening here. Someone's needing to gain balance over themselves or gaining new perspectives on things. They want to be an emperor. There's still a decision they need to make. They're, they need to make a decision, but they're not sure how to go about this. There's an emperor who doesn't know what to do. He's got his eyes closed to this decision. They want their ten of cups, but they're dealing with the five of staves. 33 could be a big number. Yeah, they got, they, they're dealing with people in their lives that are frenemies. That's what I'm picking up. This person has a lot of frenemies, right? They want to come in. They want to celebrate. They want to have a good time. But in the end, they cause nothing but conflict. Five of swords, five of wands, five of swords. I get this person, like I said, here's this staff. Somebody's got an idea. They've got something they want to do, but they're waiting for a ship to come in. Some sort of energy to come in. Something to shift on the 3D for them to do anything. They're working on getting strength on this connection. They want, yeah, they want to make moves towards this, right? There we go. Ace of Swords. Queen of Staves. Like I said, we get out of this fiery energy again. It's a lot of focus on this person. They want to bring a truth in. They want to bring a gift in. They want to like, I feel like they want to return a favor to somebody type of energy, right? I always get this truth is like somebody bringing in the truth there with that sword. Oh, don't mind me. I haven't had my coffee yet. And I got this energy of somebody coming in and wanting to bring a gift like a peace offering or a return, be like, this is a thank you for all you've done for me type of energy. Someone is trying to keep everybody calm during a tower here. Devil energy. Who's dealing with the devil? We got a king of staffs who's definitely trying to operate from a heart-based center. They're trying to operate from a proper place, right? They, they care about what people think about them. There's some people around them that they care very much. They want to set, they want to be a good role model, good example. They don't want to be petty like everybody else, right? I get this king of staffs is desperately trying to defend their money, right? They've got some sort of rite of passage going on. Ten of coins, four of coins, right? They've got something coming in and they're trying to defend it. I get the high priestess might not realize how much this person actually focuses on this connection because they see these other endings around this person. 
There's the other connections that they haven't released yet. They think that this person is immature with their staff, right? I get that there's part of this wake-up call coming in here, too, with this world card. Someone's actually been a hermit. They want to bring... Yeah, they're trying to figure out how to bring in. They're trying to, like, this is Mr. Romance here. This King of Swords, right? We have this hermit energy. Someone's not sleeping around with a bunch of people. Someone is in love, and someone is trying to figure out how to approach this situation. <laughs> how to approach her, right? The Emperor is trying to figure out how to approach the Empress at this point, right? Why, well, what's the beauty of the Emperor and the Empress? But game recognizes game, and it was like, ah, checkmate. That's the kind of energy that I'm getting. Very, very guided towards this energy, strongly. But still acting like... The reason they can't get past this is because of their mindset. Somebody's in a has a bad mindset. They have a trapped mindset. They have an imprisoned mindset. They're still playing the victim. Lying to themselves, for sure. That's why this person feels like a colorless angel. They're like, why does this bad stuff keep happening to me? Why do these people keep taking advantage of me? Why does nothing change? Why is this that? Why, 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 why? And it's like, dude, because you keep playing the game the same. You know what I'm saying? If you keep playing the game the same with these toxic types of individuals, then the same toxic type of things keep happening over and over again. you got to be mindful about who you let in your circle and who you engage with, right? And who you allow to have control. It, uh, I don't know. I don't know, right? Because that's the energy we got here. We got someone who's sitting around being beat down and they're having to do some hard reflecting and some truth on that, on how they're allowing this to happen to themselves. And then I think that's what the big wake-up call is over here. It's like, yeah, this person's like, yeah. Yeah. Everything I did caused everything in my life to stab me in the back, but I am still standing I'm still standing firm in my power. And that's a big wake-up call. Because the reason everybody stabbed me in the back, the reason everybody wants this person down on their knees, everybody wants to break this person, is because they want them to be like them. Shallow, empty, petty, pathetic. Right? Envious, jealous, all of the all of the classic sins, right? All the oldest sins. Right? There's definitely an energy of rebellion in this energy, right? Someone is here to change it. And look, they're used to it. They've been through this. What? They've been persecuted before. This ain't nothing to do. Right? Granddaughter of the witches that you couldn't burn. That's all there is to it. Oh, what is it? 18 minutes. Oh, I'm tired. I gotta get, I'm taking my kids to go see Avatar today. Do I have anything to say before we roll out? They say in heaven, love comes first. You are your own prisoner. Okay, just saying. That's what I was just saying. Our love is like the wind. You can't see it, but you can feel it. I'm always big on the wind. Go ahead and make my day. Yeah, go ahead, punk. Make my day. Do dangers untold and hardships unnumbered. Definitely get that. And so that upper upper energy there, game recognizes game. It's from the labyrinth. It's not what you call it, it's what your answer to. The universe is trying to mess with me. I refuse to engage. Yes, someone needs to change, right? They need to stop acting a certain way just because people expect them to be a certain way, right? 
The problem is not the problem. The problem is your attitude about the problem. That's what we're saying. Someone, someone needs, someone needs an energy adjustment, right? Someone needs an energy adjustment. Somebody has a toxic mindset. They're stuck because they think they're stuck, right? There's a, there's ways to become unstuck. Will it be difficult? Yes. Will it cause towers? Yes. Will you lose things that you didn't even think you could lose? Yes. It's part of the process. But if you want something you've never had before, you've got to do some things you never thought you'd do and you've never done before. Right? Think about it. If it hasn't been working, I mean, most of us are grown folks here. My audience is mostly between 30 and 40. If it hasn't been working, right? This is why we have our Saturn returns and we lose our minds when we turn 30. Why? Because everything you were told, all the rules you followed, all those all, uh, I's you dotted and T's you crossed and, you know what I'm saying, you were, most of us have a marriage under our belts, right? It's like, and some of us did the best we could. We were the best partner we could. You know, there's plenty of men who went to work and provided a good life for their families. And there was plenty of women who were Boy Scout moms and, you know, good at keeping the house and, you know, dinner on the table when they came in at six. And they did everything right and still ended up screwed at the end, right? Why? Because the universe had to remove people from your life that had a toxic mindset, that were dragging you down, that were causing issues, right? You did things that, well, at least in my life, what? That's what happened. My spiritual journey started. And when your spiritual journey starts like that, the universe will go to some extravagant ways to remove you from situations that would set you back. Look for sea turtles today. They stand for good luck and wisdom. I'm too involved now. You jump, I jump. Remember, I can't turn away without knowing you're going to be all right. Haven't you people ever heard of closing a door? Somebody is not happy about all the gossip about this situation. When the student is ready, the master appears. A true master knows when to disappear. Don't get the messenger confused with the sender's. But mostly I hate the way I don't hate you. Not even a little bit. Not even at all. We operate from a true heart-based center. We don't hate anybody. Being an empath sucks, right? Because we even, we know why the monsters are the way they are. We don't hate. We just don't. All right. Blessed be all those who walk these weird and winding paths with me. I hope you guys have a beautiful Saturday. And I'm going to be back as soon as I can, I promise.